So the colors used in this pour are Arteza Iridescent Yellow, Artist Loft White, the 24 karat gold by Deco Art, you know I love that, Arteza Iridescent Pink, Peacock Feather by Color Art, Prussian Blue by Golden, Sap Green by Golden, oh that's Sepia by Golden, Sap Green by Golden, and Arteza Iridescent Orange, Ginger Peach by Color Art, and Poppy Red by Color Art. That's primary elements in case you're wondering. And then I put it all in this little Tupperware you can buy at Dollar Tree and that keeps it all fresh for the next time that I want to use these paints. So if you're wondering how to keep your paints fresh, that's one brilliant way to do it. And you don't have to wrap each one individually. It literally doesn't even create a skin on the top or anything, so. These little cuties, we're gonna start out with um, these little cuties. These are like six by six canvases and they are the gallery wrapped canvases. And I bought them in bulk on Amazon. I'll try to remember to leave the link for you. You can see that the colors in this one, I'm literally just doing a very simple layering starting with the sunset colors. Yellow, two kinds of orange, red, white, 24 karat gold, and now I head into the green. The reason I put that layer of white and 24 karat gold in between the cold, the warm and the cool colors is to kind of provide a buffer so that the red and green don't mix together and turn into something gross. But then I turned around and did a straight pour anyway <laughs> into a pool of 24 karat gold. So they're going to mix together, but that white does add, it, it acts like a little magical barrier. Now, if you didn't catch my last video, these are the same exact colors I used in my last video and for the 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And at this point, I just wanted to do something simple and fun and quick. I love the straight pours. Look at all the pretty patterns that you get. And it's totally always a surprise. You just never really know. Now with these high sided canvases, the gallery wrap canvases, you really want to get some pretty uh, patterns going off the sides because the sides are really part of the art piece itself. So I like to always make sure I'm getting some nice lines going down the side of the canvases of those gallery wrap canvases. Now at this point I'm a little sad realizing that I'm going to have to pour off that gorgeous peach color. But I had too much paint and this is just part of the process sometimes. It would have been lovely to keep it if I could. And like I said, at this point, I just wanted to do something fun. Just really showing you guys this whole thing in real time so you can see taking my time here and what I notice is I have a lot of pretty colors on the uh, table there and so maybe I could scoop some of those up and add some interest to this piece and then add in some of those warmer colors back that I had to tilt off earlier. Don't be afraid to play around this is part of the beautiful fun of fluid art, is just scooping up paint and watching the patterns and just being inspired to see different shapes. I love the way that the part that I scooped off of the table is coming into contact with that green, that sap green in the center there. And I am looking for composition here too, especially since I don't have a lot of uh, major focal points. I want to make sure 
but I have something interesting for the eye to look at right there. That white really did take over though, so I decided to boost the color just a tiny bit with literally just the leftovers that are in the cup. Don't overlook your leftovers. <laughs> Sometimes they're the prettiest ones. They have the most beautiful lines of color in there. And look how much interest that added. Now especially I don't want to tilt that off, but I do want to make sure that there's not a thick layer left so it doesn't crack. And I think it just added that extra interest for this piece. I don't usually work on such small canvases. I've had quite a few of these and actually um, haven't worked with them very much, but I really think they're fun and it's a great way to use up some leftover paints from maybe a bigger pour. Yep, this side that one's done, so I set it aside. And bring out the next one. Now this one I decided I'm going to do as a dirty cup and I'm just going to do a flip cup. So I'm pretty haphazardly just laying all of those colors on top of each other and basically in the same exact formation as the last time with the white and the gold acting as the buffer. But I flip it over this time and it's crazy to see how different the painting can look by just layering the cup differently or doing a different technique. These are all the same colors and look at that beautiful, almost reminds me of the sunset over the water. There's like the water, the blue of the water down there. And then the beautiful sunset. I just spent some time at the coast. It was absolutely lovely and so I'm definitely in the sunset mind here <laughs> and again drizzling some of those extra paints from your cup over the piece at the end if you have any spaces it's a good way to cover up some spaces make sure that you have some pretty patterns falling over the sides or just to add some interest if you want again I'm gonna pick up some of that paint from my table and just lay it on that corner knowing that corner is gonna be tilted off it's just gonna help that paint move and I won't lose all of the pretty lines that I just created at the bottom there so that's the main reason for adding that paint and then I do the same on this side because I'm just a little tiny bit short on those two corners And now the tilting process, the tilting process is just literally going back and forth. This piece has a real serenity to it, very calming, I think. Actually the color patterns of all three of these paintings, these are the two small ones. And like I said, if you caught the other one, which I'll show right here, this one is really also kind of that beautiful like if a geode and a sunset had a baby this would be their love child <laughs> and this light specifically shows like all the beautiful sparkles that ginger peach by color art is absolutely fantastic actually I love the peacock that actually I love all of these colors for sure but the color art ones are really special 24 karat gold of course anything by golden but just this whole um, color scheme just makes you feel good the one thing I didn't mention is what's in the squeeze bottle that's my special little cloud mix with satin enamel artist loft white and a little tiny squeeze of the Liquitex pouring medium so but yeah if you didn't catch this video you should uh, catch that I'll link that 
right here. But anyway, uh, you can see how this color scheme, it's just magical. And it's just warm, it makes you feel good when you look at it. And this was just a fun little piece to do with some of those leftover colors. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I know I haven't been showing very much art, but I did move into a new house with a brand new art studio, and so that just took a few months to get all that put away and together. And this is the very first three paintings that I have done. This is the very first pour that I've done in my new art studio, so I'm so glad that I brought you along with me and that you are all here to see these. So thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel as always. Please feel free to keep in touch. And I, as always, cannot wait to make more art videos just for you guys. So that's it. See you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.